Okay, let me explain. Right now, everything to the left only gives us context. But what happens here is what matters, right? So let me just so the market started off with a nice spike here. And then look at this candle. What does this candle tell us? This candle tells us that the seller is trying to push down. Okay? So we can just draw a line. The seller is trying to push down. So, this is huge burst encouraged many people to start selling, right? But, to me, the bulls were control of this time, so it went up. So now you will see multiple times, when the sellers push down, the bulls will rally up. Sellers push down, bulls will rally up. And it made a higher high here, the highest. You see, higher, higher. Higher, 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 and then the highest. So now, if the trend has to continue, obviously it has to make a higher than this. But it didn't make a lower. Okay. Then that means if, and this is a solid, beautiful, fair candle. So if there is a reversal, this is an engulfing candle. Okay. It, it opened exactly at this uh, close, but closed beyond. So, it gave us a good sign. It gave a rundown, but notice it respected this previous. Let's see where that comes from. It comes from this high. So, this high, which was resistance at one point, now has become support here. So, it did a double micro double bottom, which is nothing but a reversal sign. And it started going up, but it did not have enough, the bulls did not have enough push to make it above this previous high. Okay. So the bears started taking control. But at this point, this pay attention to this point here. Let me just draw this out here. At this point, what what is happening is there is indecision in the market. The bears are pushing. Bulls are pushing, and therefore the market cannot decide until one of them broke free, right? So it broke free, and it started. And suppose you are a breakout trader, you will say, "Okay, it broke free." We have been taught that whenever it breaks out of a box like this, you will take a trade. So it broke free, broke free. So this candle, and then here you will take a trade here, right? So you say, "I'm going short here," and you will put. Uh, you know, a stop loss there, and you say uh, one is to one, one is to one, one, right? Okay, there you go. I put a stop loss, and you do that. But you see, it faked you out. It was not a true breakout. Why? Because you have to pay attention to context again. Though it broke out of this box, this this was not as important as this green structure here. So that means you should have waited for the breakout from here. So this is this is okay. The next candle should have opened beyond this green and closed beyond this green. Then you take a trade. But no, it it went up again, right? So look at that. So what is it doing? It's doing what's called a trading range. But it is definitely coming down, as you can see. The lower highs are being made, right? Lower highs are being made, and lower lows are being made. This low low has been broken here. So if this thing breaks here, right? If this thing breaks here, and a new candle is formed, then you can take it.
according to an analysis now and the new candle opens here we will take a short position and let the market do what it does we have 5 seconds left there you go we will take a position there right we will put a stop loss at this position here so that is of this structure here. Okay. Now, according to our analysis, a uh, candle we use blocks. Okay. A candle opened here, right, and closed under this line. A new candle opened, and we took our position. Now we have to allow the market to do what it will do. Our job is to analyze. Market's job is to do what it wants to do. So I'm going to keep myself some cutoffs. For example, though this is my uh, stop loss, I keep a line here for myself, saying that if it very rapidly goes there, and I don't feel very confident because of this multiple pullbacks here, I'll cut my small losses here. Okay? Because of it's not very, really, it didn't make a very convincing breakout. So, we'll just go. Right now, it's still in loss, but it's very close to the top. And so, we'll just allow it to play. So, yes, we have kept our stop loss here, but this is just to uh, get out if it is, if it shows us too much of it. Yes.